The Cybertruck is no ordinary vehicle. It's built to handle the roughest, toughest terrains with ease. And recently, Tesla's latest prototype showed off its remarkable ability to cross water, demonstrating why it's in a league of its own. This beast of a truck can handle water up to 32 inches deep, right up to the tops of the stock tires. But what does that mean for you? Stay tuned, because we're revealing into everything you need to know about how the Cybertruck conquers these challenges and more. Welcome to EV Frontier. Let's get started. Tesla's Cybertruck has been a hot topic since its reveal, with some people doubting its off-road capabilities. But guess what? Tesla just changed the game. They released a new software update that turns the Cybertruck into a serious off-roader. This update adds special driving modes for off-roading and camping trips. The coolest part? It can even drive itself off-road. Owners can get this update for free and it's usually installed automatically when the truck is connected to the internet. And all they need to do is just open the off-road app on the Cybertruck's big screen. When you activate the off-road app on the Cybertruck screen, you can choose from sub-modes like Overland, Baja, Wade Mode, Trail Assist, and Locking Differentials Mode. Each of these sub-modes is designed for specific situations, like gravel and deep snow, sand, and even water crossings. It's like having a video game where you could adjust the difficulty level. With a Cybertruck, you could adjust how the truck handles, how high it sits, and how it stops. It's pretty cool how much you can customize it. Now, one of the coolest things about the Cybertruck is its ability to handle water, and it's called the Wade Mode. Wade Mode is a special feature on the Tesla Cybertruck designed to allow it to drive through water. When activated, the truck raises its suspension to its highest level and seals the battery to protect it from water. With Wade Mode on, this truck can go through water up to 32 inches deep. That's almost as tall as the tires. To keep the truck safe, Tesla made sure the battery is protected by air pressure when it's in water. But remember, you can only use Wade Mode for about 30 minutes straight. That said, it looks like the Cybertruck handles deep water crossings impressively well. Other folks who tested it successfully made several water crossings at different depths, showing no signs of drive loss or struggle. In one instance, the water even rose above the front of the hood, and the Cybertruck still powered through without any issues. This real-world test highlights just how capable the Cybertruck is when it comes to taking on challenging water obstacles. However, the test wasn't without its hiccups. First, two plastic pieces shifted out of place. The inner fender liner in one of the wheel wells flipped inside out, but it was easily fixed. A more concerning issue was that a section of the rear bumper cover also came loose during the test, though it's unclear if it was as easily repairable as the liner. Perhaps the most significant problem was the push-button controls for the tonneau cover and tailgate. After the water crossings, these controls stopped working entirely. It's unclear whether this was a one-time glitch or a sign of a more widespread issue. With the popularity of Tesla and the Cybertruck, it's likely our future videos will explore whether these problems were isolated incidents or if they could be more common in similar situations. Another thing is that despite Tesla's claim that the Cybertruck is waterproof enough to serve briefly as a boat, it seems to struggle with even smaller muddy puddles. During a recent water crossing, the Cybertruck managed to dislodge the inner wheel well, which had to be repaired before it could continue on the trail. This incident suggests that while the Cybertruck has impressive capabilities, it may still have some limitations when it comes to handling rough, wet conditions. In a recent incident shared on X, formerly Twitter, a Tesla Cybertruck was seen crossing a moderately deep stream at a reasonable speed. Although the truck managed to wade through the water relatively easily, it didn't come out completely unscathed. After exiting the water, the Cybertruck began making worrying scraping and banging noises. An inspection revealed that the part of the plastic lining in the front wheel had become disconnected and required a field repair. Plus, the front fog lights started acting strangely, which might be due to mud blocking a light sensor or camera, causing the truck to mistakenly think it was dark. But overall, a minor trailside repair like fixing the dislodged inner wheel, well, isn't a huge inconvenience. However, this is now at least the second time a Cybertruck has shown signs of coming apart during a water crossing, raising concerns about the vehicle's true durability and longevity. There have been other signs of potential durability issues. 
For example, a YouTuber recently tore off pieces of his Cybertruck while trying to summit a small dusty hill, and there was a catastrophic part failure at the King of Hammers off-road event, though that failure was likely due to third-party modifications. Even before these incidents, a Tesla Cybertruck prototype managed to bend its upper control arm during an off-road test run by Tesla itself. So, yes, the Cybertruck's ongoing struggles in off-road scenarios seem to stem from its design and the compromises made to keep those costs down. A recent off-road benchmark test highlighted the vehicle's less than stellar performance, partly due to the combination of its air suspension and a rather basic suspension design. These factors contribute to the Cybertruck's mixed results when it comes to handling tough terrains. Now, here are some of the top tips given by experts to maximize its off-road capabilities. Follow these to make the most of your Cybertruck's off-road powers. First, assess the terrain before entering the water. Ensure that the depth is within the 2.7 foot or 32.5 inch limit of wade mode, which is indicated by the water level reaching above the Cybertruck's 33 and a half inch tires. Check for still or slow moving water as strong currents can destabilize the vehicle and be aware of any debris or submerged objects that might cause damage. When activating wade mode, remember that it takes up to 10 minutes to fully engage and has a maximum duration of 30 minutes. Plan your water crossing so it can be completed within this time frame. While crossing, maintain a slow, steady pace. Tesla recommends speeds of one to three miles per hour to avoid damage and ensure safety. Avoid stopping in the water, as this can allow water to enter sensitive areas. And if the water becomes too deep or challenging, it's better to turn back and find an alternative route. After crossing, perform a thorough post-flood inspection. Check the brakes for any water logging and inspect the underbody for damage. Also, look inside for potential leaks, especially around doors in the vault, and dry any affected areas. By following these tips, you can safely utilize the Cybertruck's wade mode and navigate water crossings effectively. And remember, the Cybertruck is tough, but it's not invincible. Use common sense and enjoy your off-road escapades responsibly. So there you have it. The Tesla Cybertruck is no ordinary electric vehicle. It's a beast that can handle water crossings like a champ. With its wade mode and overall toughness, it's definitely pushing the boundaries of what an electric truck can do. But remember, while it's impressive, always prioritize safety when tackling tough terrains. Let us know in the comments if you're planning to get a Cybertruck or if you've taken your Cybertruck on a water adventure. We'd love to hear your stories. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more electric vehicle content. We've got plenty more EV adventures in store for you. See you in the next video.